Today, I will be showing you how to add a stick overlay on top of your FPV footage with DaVinci Resolve. If you're using Adobe After Effects instead, I put Joshua Broadwell's video of how to do that in the description. All right, so the first step is to connect to Betaflight. Go down to the black box tab, choose Onboard Flash, and then choose the lowest black box logging rate. For me, it's 500 hertz and save and reboot. Next, we'll go ahead and erase flash. This will free up space for our next few flights. So go ahead and go fly your quad with the GoPro and we'll come back in a bit. All right, so once you're back from flying, you can go back to the black box tab and you're gonna activate mass storage device. This turns your quad into a USB drive for a couple of minutes and you can just drag the black box logs over to a folder. The next step is to open up Betaflight Blackbox Explorer. I'll put the link in the description. And then you just want to take the log that corresponds to your GoPro video and drag it into here. That'll open a bunch of useful data, but all we want are these stick overlays. So get rid of all these graphs, get rid of this. And I like to um, turn on stick trails to show you where your sticks have been. And then we'll go ahead and just export this video, choose your resolution and frame rate, and choose where you want it. And this actually takes quite a while. It takes me about 20 or 30 minutes. And I found if you leave it um, in the foreground, it goes much faster than if you minimize it. So just leave it here for about 20 minutes and we'll come back. The video is done rendering and you'll notice it's in this .webm format. Um, DaVinci Resolve does not recognize this as a video, so we need to use this WinFF tool that Joshua Barbell recommended. Um, I'll put the link in the description. We'll drag and drop this here, convert to MPEG-4, um, set your resolution, and convert it. And once this is done converting to MP4, we'll go ahead and um, open Resolve. Once the video has finished converting to MP4, We'll go into DaVinci Resolve and we'll drag our GoPro footage onto the timeline and above that we'll add our stick overlay. So our goal is to get rid of this black um, background. First we'll go ahead to cropping and we'll crop out as much as we can. Everything that we don't need. Then we will resize it. Okay. And I like to add some opacity to make it a little bit see-through. And then we will line it up with our footage. Let's check that this sticks match what the video is doing. So now we can get rid of this gray background and make it look much nicer. And the way we do that is the same way we get rid of a green screen. You can either do it in the fusion tab with the looming here, or you can do it in the color tab, which is what I prefer. So we'll head into here, zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll add an alpha source output. Drag these two. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go to qualifier, select HSL and click on the gray. Then we'll click invert. And now we have a general idea of what we want here. We're just gonna play with these settings until we get it cleaned up a bit. So we'll add some denoise here. Um, Play with this. And then these last two settings add a black border um, to make it easier to see. So that's not perfect, but that's pretty good. We can just go ahead and clean that up. Um, and then another thing you can do is you can actually change the color of here. You can go to the hue and change that to whatever color you want. Great, so at this point you're done and you can go ahead and export your video. However, if you're doing a lot of stick overlays, I have a few more tips for you to speed up the process in future projects. So to avoid doing all that cropping every time, we're going to go ahead and create a power bin. So make sure you see this power bin section over here. If you don't, um, go to view and double check that the check mark is next to show power bins. And then we're just going to um, drag this over to here and now You'll see this power bin section in every project that you make. Um, next thing we'll do is go to the color tab and we'll right click on the preview and say grab still. And the still is kind of like a preset that you can apply to any other uh, video clip. And similarly, we're gonna put it into a power grade. So you might have to click this if you don't see it. Um, and then you can add power grade album, which I already have. And you're just gonna drag and drop this here. 
So I'll show you how to apply that in a new project. I'll go ahead and bring one up. Okay, here we are in a new project. Um, I'll do the same thing. I'll add some GoPro footage and I am assuming you already exported your stick overlay and you see it's black again. So instead of having to do all this work again, all that you have to do is go into your power bin and drag and drop this that you copied and you're going to copy it and then you're going to paste the attributes and make sure that the video attributes are selected. Click apply and look, it cropped it for us. Can get rid of this and then we can go into color tab and we will go into our power grade and we see that this is the still that we grabbed so i'm just going to drag and drop it over it and then we have to add alpha um, output again and then there we go that's how fast it is you can go ahead and export that and thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you like this content and i'll be doing some future betaflight 4.2 tuning guides if you want to see that